Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll learn how to create classic team site in SharePoint Online. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can create classic team site. Okay friends, so now we are on our Microsoft 365 admin center. We'll click on this app launcher. Now we'll click on SharePoint. If I will click on create site, we get two options to create a site. The first is team site and communication site, but there is no option to create classic team site. So if you want to create a classic team site, we don't have to go to the SharePoint. For that, we'll go to Microsoft 365 admin center. I will click on navigation menu. We'll go down and we'll open SharePoint admin center. So now we are on SharePoint admin center. You can see it over here. Now we'll click on active sites. I've already created two sites over here. Now let's see how we can create classic team site. So for that, we'll click on create a site. Now here I am getting a link of other options apart from team site and communication site. We'll click over here. Now it's asking to choose a template. We'll select this drop down menu. And here we are getting document center, enterprise wiki, publishing portal and more templates. So we want to create a classic team site. So it's not listed over here. We'll click on more templates. Now we are navigated to create a site collections. Now we have to give title to our classic team site. So I've given the title test and here we have to enter website address. So this is the URL. Now we can select SharePoint site or team sites. So we will go with SharePoint sites. And now we have to enter the name for our classic team site. In the template selection, we can select with language from this drop down menu. We'll go with English. Now in select a template, we have an option of team site classic experience. Now it's selected by default. If I will click on enterprise, in the enterprise part, we can see a site to centrally manage documents in your enterprise. We can select and modify changes according to our requirement and I want my site to be document center. So we'll select document center in the publishing. We can select publishing portal or enterprise wiki. So you can read about it from here. Now we'll click on custom. In the custom, you can see we can create an empty site and pick a template from the site at a later time. So we'll simply create a normal classic team site. We will not modify anything as of now. In the time zone, we can provide the time zone for our site. So it's here. Now in the administrator part, you can enter the primary administrator name for your site collections. As you can see in the note, only one user name can be provided over here. So I will make a primary administrator, Rachit. Now I will press enter. So you can see it has selected my primary administrator. Now in the server resource quota, it's gray out. So we'll click on OK to create our classic team site. After clicking on OK, it will take few seconds to create site. Now you can see classic SharePoint admin center to active site page has moved. You will be redirecting in 20 seconds. If you want to redirect immediately, you can click on this link. So in the active sites, you can see our site is now created. So to go inside this site, we can copy this URL and we can open it in any browser we want. This is the URL of our site. Now we'll click on this test. You can see the site name, we can edit it. This is the URL. You can't edit the URL of the site. There is no hub association. We will discuss it later on. This is my domain and the creation part who has created the site. You can see the date and time from SharePoint admin center in the activity. There is no activity as such in the permissions. You can select the site admins. You can by clicking on manage the site owners, site members and site visitors in the policies. You can define the external sharing for this particular site by clicking on edit and the sensitivity is set to none. So friend, that's how you create classic team site from SharePoint admin center. In upcoming videos, we will see the external sharing 
the permissions and lot many things in SharePoint online. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.